K-Nearest Neighbors algorithm. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. To watch more videos on machine learning and programming, do subscribe to the channel. The K-Nearest Neighbors algorithm is a simple, easy to implement supervised machine learning algorithm that can be used to solve both classification and regression problems. Now, a supervised machine learning algorithm is one that relies on labeled input data to learn a function that produces an appropriate output when given a new unlabeled data. The KNN algorithm assumes that similar things exist in close proximity. In other words, similar things are near to each other. We can relate this definition to something like birds of a feather flock together. Now, notice in the image that most of the time, similar data points are close to each other. The KNN algorithm hinges on this assumption being true enough for the algorithm to be useful. KNN captures the idea of similarity, sometimes called distance, proximity, or closenessness, with some mathematics we might have learned in our childhood, calculating the distance between points on a graph. There are many ways to calculate distance, and one might one way might be preferable depending on the problem that we are trying to solve. However, we are going to use something called as the Euclidean distance, which is a popular and a familiar choice. Let's see how the KNN algorithm works in action. First, we load the data set. Next, we initialize the number of neighbors which we want, which is k in our case. Now, for each example in our data set, we'll calculate the distance between the query example and the current example from the data, the distance here being the Euclidean distance. Next, we add the distance and the index of the example to an ordered collection, uh, for example, a dictionary. Now, sort the ordered collection of distances and indices from smallest to largest in ascending order by the distances. Now, let's pick the first k entries from the sorted collections, get the labels of the selected k entries. Now, if you want to find the mean, then that is the regression problem. And if you find the mode, it's a classification k and algorithm. Now let's talk about choosing the right value of k. To select the k that's right for your data, we run the KNN algorithm several times with different values of k and choose the k that reduces the number of errors we encounter while maintaining the algorithm's ability to accurately make predictions when given data it hasn't seen before. KNN has the following advantages. The algorithm is simple and easy to implement and we'll see that in the next video. There's no need to build a model, tune some hyperparameters or even make additional assumptions. It is a very simple and straightforward algorithm. The algorithm is also versatile. It can be used for classification, regression and search as well. One of the major disadvantages of the algorithm is that it gets significantly slower as the number of examples or variables increase. Coming to this, let's talk about the applications of KNN. KNN can be useful in solving problems that have solutions that depend on identifying similar objects, right? The nearest neighbors or the nearest similar objects. An example of using this would be in recommender systems, which is an example application of KNN search. Now, uh, at a large scale, this would look like recommending products on Amazon or articles on Medium, movies on Netflix, Although we can be certain that uh, these companies, they all use more efficient means of making recommendations due to enormous volume of data. And when you have an enormous volume of data, that is when KNN starts to suffer. So that was a very brief introduction of how the KNRS algorithm works. Now for the next video, we have two choices. We can either use the scikit-learn library to import the KNN model or use it directly. And we can also make our own model from scratch. In the next video, we'll actually implement the k-nearest neighbors algorithm using scikit-learn. Thank you.